What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and this is Dean from Underdog Angler. So basically today we are going to Lone Hill Dam. Yes. And Lone Hill Dam's got plenty of carp and barbel and copra and stuff. And we're going to try a brand new uh, style of fishing. Yeah. It's called method feeding. <laughs> The method feeder is pretty much the gap between pubkhoi and specimen. The rig itself is almost identical to my PVA bag rig, the link of how to tie it that is in the description, but instead of a lead or using a millibomb spring, you use a method feeder, and you pack your pubkhoi mix onto that. The one other important difference is that there is only one hook. So let's cast this rod in and show you three main advantages that a method feeder has over pubkhoi. The first advantage is that the method feeder's lead is on the bottom, so that it will always land the right way up with your lead at the bottom and your hook bait neatly presented on top. With a milli bomb, there's no real way of telling which way the bomb is going to land, so you don't actually know if the bomb has landed on your hook bait or not. The second advantage to the method feeder is the breakdown time. Using the same mix, we compressed the milli bomb and the method feeder as hard as we could but in every test the method feeder breakdown time was between 4 and 7 minutes in 18 degree water and the Papkhoi bomb took up to 20 minutes to fully break down in the same water. The third advantage is that when baiting up your method feeder versus baiting up your millibomb spring you use much less millibomb on the method feeder. During our tests a millibomb spring would use up to 3 times as much millibomb mixture per loading. And over a day or a weekend session this can save you a lot of money because you will need so much less bait for the same amount of costs. Ok, that's enough tests, let's show you exactly how to properly bait up your method feeder. Step 1. Get your method feeder mold. Step 2. Drip a small amount of flavour into your mold. Step 3. Place your hook bait into the bottom of your mold. Step 4. Place a generous amount of millibomb mix into your mold. Step 5. Place your method feeder ribs down onto your feed and press it firmly into the mold. Step 6. Remove your method feeder from the mold and you're done. I'm still fishing and then all of a sudden... I'm on. I don't want to lose the fish. Dude, that thing's solid in the weed. So Dean, you're onto a fish, bro. I'm onto a fish, my man, but hey, I'm stressing. It's in those weed. Well, just bags. keep constant pressure and then you can get it out. Those oh, weeds will break, hopefully. Hopefully. So what method is this? Method feeding. So this is the victim that fell to the method feeding. A little fake maize and some. A little bit of cork. Um, and then 10 minutes you can catch a lovely bubble. It's big fun, mate. Bubble fight like hell. Yes, it took, eh? Yeah. My drag was almost on its tightest and it still took, took line. line. So it means that fish was actually stuck just in front of me. Yeah. Oh well, let's get this fella back and catch him or maybe a carp. Gone. Gone. Like it is never there. <sighs> yes. So now we've got our perfect little method lead. Now put some Stealth Berry uh, infuse on it. Delicious. Are you on Dean? Yeah. Dean's onto a fish. Let's go see what he's caught. A little angry common. <laughs> Show it to the people. Uh, 
Well, this is what we came for and we succeeded. Oh, so far, it's only been, what, 30 minutes? No, it's been an hour now. Oh, well, an hour, sorry. But yeah, I think I'm on the spot. Yes, I think so too. Yeah, nice so team. let's get it back and catch a bigger one. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh. 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 Yeah, man. So we got a fish on the method feeder. There you go, so we've got ourselves a lovely carp. Hello carpy, thank you for biting my method feeder. So the method feeder works. We've got a barbel and a carp from Dean, and now a lovely little carp from me. Fantastic. Now if you guys don't have a mat, a carp fishing mat, then it's okay. All you gotta do is keep the fish in the water and don't put it on the bank. And then you can unhook the fish in the water. There you go, unhooked. Get the net out the way. There you go. Get rid of the method feeder. Give me a little copy. Come on. Come say hello to everyone. I know you don't want to. I know you just want to go back to your home. Okay. Look at this. This almost looks like a like a hybrid of a koi. Because look at how look how it's got white some white spots on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this in the in the GoPro. You can see it's got white on it. Epic. So there's our lovely little koi, about a kilo and a half. Absolutely wonderful. Happy about that. Goodbye, you lovely little cop. Perfect. <laughs>